Hello, thank you for dropping in a Framers Touch for our very first happy hour. The idea behind this is with all this social distancing is I personally miss the interaction between my artist and myself and wanted to provide an opportunity for us um, and you, the community, to get to know a somebody in our community. Today, a Framers Touch has reached out to a local well-known artist, Helvie Smith. Okay. Thanks for stopping oh. by. Cheers. <laughs> yes, I got that too. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by our very first um, happy hour. I'm thrilled to be here. I, I thought it is, I saw all the things that you've been doing and the one thing that really, well, several things that really spoke to me uh, with this crazy social isolation and COVID-19 is you created the Facebook group called Art at Home. I think that's fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? I'm at home and I'm looking at all the art I have that isn't art that I've created. And I just wanted to share that with people who have an interest in art. So on a whim, one evening I thought, I'm just gonna create this Facebook page called Art at Home and invite my friends and you know, see what happens. And it took off like a rocket. And everybody invited everybody else. And in like three days, there's 300 people there all sharing different kinds of artwork. And it's fabulous to get the stories behind the art they like, why they collected it, what they like about it. It's, it's been amazing. And anybody who wants to join can, can join. I'm happy with that. It's a private page. So you have to ask to join. I will post some links at the end of the session so everybody knows how to reach you um, and knows where to look for the, the names of these private groups. So okay. the idea behind your art at home was, can you talk to me a little bit about what that idea, what inspired you with the thought of that? Well, everybody's at home <laughs> right now. <laughs> and I think there's that crazy boredom level that gets to a certain place and you're just looking at your walls and hopefully your walls are full of art. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be just paintings that we're sharing. It could be pottery. It could be textiles. Um, I saw some stained anything. glass windows that were beautiful. Stained glass windows, jewelry. It, it's all art. Yeah. And, nope. you know, functional things are art. I'm happy to, to share what I have with other people and other people are just showing off their cool stuff i love it it appeases thing, the snoop part of me yeah <laughs> well one thing with this covid is we are like you said we are all at home i think it's um we're re-evaluating what what makes a home to us you know is it you know of course netflix is pretty big they're <laughs> pretty important but you want to yeah. be you need to surround this is a perfect opportunity for to surround yourself with things that give you joy and pleasure and inspire you and i think what you did was awesome and it's a it's a constant reminder of that the other thing that you're doing during this covid is you're doing the social distancing art on your porch tell us a little bit about that helvy i have a facebook friend i've never met in florida named beck lane and she started putting art out in front of her place she paints really big portraits and i thought I have a porch, I have an easel, I have art. And so I thought, I'll do that too. So people driving by or walking by can look up and, and see something different in their day. And just, just a little nudge that everything isn't scary. So every day I put out a piece of artwork on my porch and uh, I post it to my Instagram page, feed page, whatever that is. And then it goes to my Facebook art page. And then from my Facebook art page, I send a shared link to my personal Facebook page. So it's just like that. So it's just fun. And my neighbor on the end of the street, Lynn, she started doing that a couple of days ago too. So it'd be great if it could be an art block sometime. We'll see. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, right now they're doing the teddy bears. You already put a teddy bear in a window. So... Um, yes, for children, right. Yes, yeah, so this could be just like that. We can add a piece of art and teddy bears and stuff in a window because we're all looking for something, um, that social connection with people right now. 
exactly. There, there's some familiarity in it and, and I would love to go for a walk and, and see what people have on their porches. Yes. Why not? Right. Yeah. I love it. And you also, you've got so much that you've been doing. It's like, I had to really like, wow, I don't know how you have time to do all the things that you do. It's wonderful. You also have something called um, an art party. What is that? Facebook. Oh, the art party. I started, it's a Facebook page and I started it for local artists. Um, just networking and uh, sharing, like, you know, I'm out of blue paint. Does anybody have any blue paint? Or uh, every now and then we get together and um, make art together at one place. Like in the summer, we'll go to a park. So there's like 140 people, artists, local artists in there. And um, since we're all artists in that group, I thought, well, let's do something to get our minds off the way the world is at this moment. So a few weeks ago, I started a thing where I posted a picture and said, use this for art inspiration. I mean, it's not like mandatory because it's a loosey goosey group, but use this for art inspiration and create a piece of art. And next week I'll have another picture. So the, what people have created from the inspiration piece has been really fun. Like last week, somebody, the picture was a dragonfly on this weird flower. And uh, a friend of mine, Royleen, made the dragonfly into a cat with dragonfly wings on top of the flower. And one week, somebody made an apron out of the picture. So it's, because when you're creating, it's, it's a time where you don't have to, you're not, you just can't think of other things. You just, it's that zone, the it's to have that time. So that's worked out very well too. And can anybody join that group? There? I am. We're having a little video audio situation. Can you hear me there? There we go. Okay. Now I see you again. <laughs> um, can anybody join the art party group or do you have to be an artist to join? Yeah, there you are. The, the art party is basically for local-ish sort of people. But if someone asked me nicely, I'd throw them in there too. Yeah. They would well, just have to understand the meetings are going to be somewhere around where I live. <laughs> right. Well, I think it's a wonderful idea. Uh, you, can't in, you can't rush creativity. You can't push creativity. You can be inspired to be creative. And having a place to go for an artist where inspiration and ideas are fluid and free-forming and um, the advice and suggestions are readily given that's and um, sounds like an amazing safe place to me that's so well said good job i want to be respectful of your time but i do see a little bit of your artist studio peeking around in the corner can you kind of talk yeah yeah can you share with us a little bit i see it i see it i love it there's uh, my art tables back there. I paint flat and I put a lot of times paint in squirt bottles and I'll use that for drawing lines on my paintings, sort of like a big goopy Sharpie pen. <laughs> uh-huh, perfect. And for applying paint. And then I do have here, the, my latest thing I've been working on is painting on um, unstretched canvas mm -hmm. because I've bought big bolts of uh, pre-primed canvas and I'll tear off a certain section and, and paint it and so these are meant to be hung uh, with clips on a wall not stretched they're, they're just funny looking so this one I was going to take my art opening that got cancelled <laughs> in McMinnville so this is so this is like I'm trying to see if I can see so this is like one of them they're just really long Oh, how fun is that? This is a canvas. Wow. And this one sold, but this, this was just, they're just fun to do. Wow, that's very cool. Wonderful. So, so yeah. how can the people that are viewing this today, how can they, I'll, I'll post some links at the end of the video, okay. but um, should they just, if they're interested in your art or want to know more about what you do, um, how else can they just reach you through those links that you've provided for us? They can um, email me if they needed to or okay. wanted to at helbysmith at gmail. Great. And, and uh, I have an Instagram account, the Facebook art page, 
Um, they can reach me through the gallery, Ken Oaks Gallery in McMinnville, Oregon. Nice. Or through Valley Art Gallery in Forest Grove, Oregon. Or they can come to my door and knock. <laughs> That's right. So you're, you have, open the door. You, you live, closing out, you live in your studio and people are invited yes. by appointment only. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. Because it's not always clean and tidy. You know, I want to make a nice impression when, real, when people show up. <laughs> Well, Helvi, I want to be respectful of your time. Thank you so much for popping into our happy hour. Cheers. <laughs> All right. You thanks so much. Me. Thanks, Kristen. You take care. Okay. Thank you. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us during our first happy hour with a Framers Touch. If you're interested in being a guest on one of our happy hours, please reach out to info at aframerstouch.com. We so very much enjoyed talking to Helby and we hope that you enjoyed it as well. Thank you and have a beautiful afternoon. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy.